Hi there, dear friends, colleagues and junior residents. So, today is a very, very interesting case that I am going to present on my YouTube channel. So, as you must, must have read about the thumbnail, uh, I want you to figure out when did I cause a posterior capsular rupture in this video, in this case that I am operating. It's kind of a quiz video for all those residents who are good at observing things. So this video of mine will require attention to detailing if I may add. So I have started the case, I have made the side ports, injected some dye staining the anterior capsule, visco expressing the air bubble out and here we go. So this video features three key learning aspects and I'll just point them out one by one but for now you should keep a close watch on the chopping manures that I am going to have, the FACO part and the, the status of the posterior capsule. You all need to tell me where and how did I rupture it. So this is a very very interesting video, one of the most interesting ones that took me back as well when I was operating this case in real time. I just giggled and smiled because sometime in your career cases like these come along and they just make you smile. So as you can see I have hydro dissected the nucleus and I have made a really nice hydro delineating wave causing the characteristic bright golden ring sign that you see here. It's a beautiful golden ring sign. And I must add the cortex of this nucleus is soft and the nucleus is around grade 2 or grade 3 which will make uh, direct chop really easy in this case. So I'll go down with FACO pedal 3 and coming to FACO pedal 2 and trying to chop it off. At this point I realize that I need to clean the cortex off a little bit for holding the nucleus firmly and I'll start it again burying deep down and chop 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 two pieces here you go and I'll just rotate the nucleus bury my tip down once again FACO pedal 3 and FACO pedal 2 chop 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 and yes the pieces are there and switching to quadrant removal and I'll aspirate those pieces easy easy keep a close watch on the posterior capsule and you need to tell me what happened where it happened and how did it happen and you will win a title of Sherlock Holmes from my side so just aspirating the epinucleus and that's it boom the case is almost complete can you notice something abnormal? Well, you will just wait for 10 more seconds and you'll notice something strange in the posterior capsule. So at this time I am, I have not recognized what the mistake is, what the problem is and as soon as i am completing the ia i can see the defect and 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 
As I complete the IA part, I can see something fishy. I can see something fishy. Can you now see what is there? So, right here, what do you see? So, I've been misleading you all till now if you did not notice and if you notice for all those who don't know what this is this is not a posterior capsular rupture this is not a pcr this is just v's ring from posterior vitreous detachment so when i saw this real time i just smiled and laughed and first i was taken aback for five or ten seconds i really felt that how could I do a PCR because chamber stability was normal the AC did not shallow the vitreous did not prolapse still I can see this circular defect floating around but as soon as my brain registered all this info I realized and laughed on myself because this is a V's ring from posterior vitreous detachment nothing else this circular part was attached with the disc and as the patient aged this detached from the disc margin the patient is a female and un under the influence of estrogen dipping levels of estrogen postmenopausal females usually have these v's rings floating around in the vitreous so as you can see if you go back to the video you can remind rewind it five or ten seconds and uh, I have implanted a preloaded simplicity Johnson & Johnson monofocal IUL in this patient and as soon as I implanted it uh, the IUL had kissing haptics and I separated it right away implanting the IUL in the back so it, it was just a fun case to share with you all I hope you liked my video Cases like these come along and it's a joy to share all these strange and peculiar cases with you all that make you smile along the way of your learning, of your residency. I hope you like my videos, hydrating the main port in the roof. That's all from my side. Thank you so much.